the rest of the world has woken up to the crisis in Sri Lanka quite late. But, you know, just to start off, can you tell me how life has changed from last year to this year? And and did you, were there early warning bells that uh, Sri Lankans were, you know, were paying attention to? Or, you know, what I mean, is like the average citizen or is it, was there nothing and did all just happen one fine morning that you realized that food and fuel was difficult to come by? Well, it's it's kind of been it's kind of been one thing after another for Sri Lanka. So I think obviously the whole world has been through two full years of the COVID nineteen pandemic, you know, twenty twenty and twenty twenty one. But before that, Sri Lanka also had the Easter attacks in two thousand nineteen, which is a huge right. hit, uh, mm-hmm. incredibly harrowing and, and difficult kind of part of the uh, time of uh, Sri Lanka's kind of modern history. Um, right. Very very heartbreaking kind of incident and one that left a big gash on the national psyche. Mm-hmm. And then we went, you know, eight, nine months, 10 months after that, we went into COVID, mm-hmm. uh, into our first big COVID lockdowns. Uh, Sri Lanka locked down pretty hard. So a lot of people lost their livelihoods. You know, a lot of people who had already been hit economically once by the slowdown after the Easter attacks, then had another big shock economically to their livelihoods. And then, of course, uh, people kind of used up their savings. They um, they managed to somehow get through the COVID period, get through two, two years of COVID. We had a big mm-hmm. Delta lockdown as well last year. Um, and we somehow managed to get through all of that. And now this almost seems, it's, it's you know, from the perspective of your, of your ordinary Sri Lankan kind of citizen, it's incredibly cruel to be going through a fourth year of this, essentially. Right. Um, because you're you used up a lot of your savings and, and a lot of the buffers that you built for yourself and your family mm-hmm. uh, in the previous years, and now you're faced with uh, astronomical living costs. I think that's the main right. thing. A lot of the coverage overseas is, is focused on fuel shortages and fuel queues and, and gas mm-hmm. queues. Those, those things have been very very difficult for people to go through, and and I'm not kind of underplaying playing those at all. People have died in those queues, but for most Sri Lankans, what is hitting them right now is the the cost of, of what it you know what what it costs to live compared to right. what they're earning. Their their earnings, if anything, have declined since 2019. Uh, mm-hmm. For most of us, that's probably the case. But mm-hmm. the but the food costs are about you know if you live in a city, if you live in Colombo, it's about 150 percent more. It, mm-hmm. You know to to buy the same kind of food stuffs as you did it that you did a year ago.